Hi, I'm Alan. And my name's Henry. And we're from writershite.net. In this edition, we're going to be reviewing Ellie Roth's The Hostel 2. Alan, what did you think? How did it compare to number one? Well, number one, um, you probably saw from our website. Uh, we actually reviewed this movie about six months ago. And um, I liked Hostel 1. It was a very inventive movie. Um, um, there wasn't a movie done like this before, uh, to my knowledge. So I was anticipating good things from this movie. Yeah, same here. And I think it just fell down on all four legs. Uh, let's set up what the story is about. Similar to Hostel 1, uh, we've got three students. This time, instead of boys, it's three girls. They're studying in Rome. They're studying art. Yep. And they get lured to a, a spa, a relaxing women's spa in Slovakia uh, by another uh, no, female. No female, that they, yeah, yeah, that they meet on, on the train as they're taking a day's, uh, I don't know, a week vacation? Yeah, or? something like that, a week, yeah. So they get lured to this spa and become fodder for... Uh, well, this, this woman who is the, they stumble across, who is an artist, she actually is a, um, she's got these fantasies and a penchant, as we say in our, our reviews from time to time, for, uh, for murdering young women. Yeah, so she, and she's a scout for, basically, it's much like the first film, it's a factory or it's a business run by uh, Slovakians for, for providing people to be murdered for British European businessmen and American businessmen that have a penchant for... Uh, it's a murder club basically, yeah, right? You know, yeah. people want to kill people, they, they get They pay victim. money and these guys find the victims and provide the fodder for them. But this movie was really bad. There was, I mean, the plot was identical to the first one as far as I'm concerned, so that wasn't any different. Instead of men, it was women. Yeah. Uh, but where the film really fell down is that there was nothing new, there was nothing inventive. Uh, and the I, gore f and the gore wasn't there. No, the um, I mean, you know, the first movie was an excellent movie, uh, quite inventive. But this one, uh, as Henry said, it followed the same plot, followed the same theme. It ran out of steam. Yeah, it ran it out. It didn't have any fresh ideas. It had no, there was no fresh input to it. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I fell asleep halfway through the movie. It was that bad. Yeah, we actually rented the uh, non. What did they call it? The editor's cut with all the gory footage, the DVD. Yeah. yeah. So apparently, what we saw was more gory than what was in the film. Uh, there was one scene where the girl strung up to the ceiling, and you know the, the woman that has the penchant for yeah, bathing she and blood. Yeah. Shut the right? Yeah. She's cutting her throat. Yeah. So she cut, and then you know it sprays out Monty Python style. Yeah. It was very amateurishly. Done. Very yeah, done. perhaps that wasn't in the original film, I don't know. And then there was another film which was actually the, f the funniest of the scenes in the film where the American fellow who's doing the torturing, <laughs> tables get turned and he ends up getting strung to the chair. And the American woman who was being tortured, she... Um, yeah, she, looks, yeah, she cuts off his... Uh, John, his John Thomas. He's his, his John Thomas and his uh, undercarriage. Yeah, yeah <laughs> the funny thing is... There, there's a, there's vicious guard dogs and she ends up feeding it to, yeah. to the dogs. Now that scene, I assume, was meant to be quite a serious, graphic and gory scene in the movie, but it turned out to be hilarious. Yeah, it was, it was plastic. Funny. It was plastic. Yeah. 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 And the effects, there was a huge gaping hole left where it would have left it. <laughs> yeah. You know? But the way the dogs were, were chewing oh, it up, you know, and just yum, yum, yum. Oh, right? the dogs loved it. Swallowed it whole, was looking for more. <laughs> it was very funny. But this movie, I think, could be a lot better. I mean, um, you know, Hostel One was was actually quite a successful movie, yeah. Yeah. and it was well reviewed, and um, you know, it, uh, it turned out to be a good movie. So he was going off of, of that. He was on a kind of bit of a roll with that one. But, but I think he lost it. But he needed he to do. He didn't deliver the goods. No. Whereas in the Saw franchise, we don't see quite the same uh, degradation of product as we saw in this franchise. Yeah. So really, this is strictly a DVD rental. But we really don't recommend that you spend your money or time watching it because it's just. Bad a few of pros of insomnia or um, you know whatever you need to be put to sleep for whatever reason, I would recommend uh, renting the movie. Yeah. But for me, the Thumbs movie down. is shite. Yeah, it's shite. Total shite. So stick around for our, our other reviews. My name's Henry at Alan and Alan, writershite.net. Pick up the t-shirt and we'll see you at our next review. Remember, watch for the BS. Thanks.